Here's the most common problem when it comes to B-rolling, a warped panel. We're gonna show you how to fix this without a fancy, expensive English wheel. Now the gist of the problem here is if you take a perfectly flat piece of sheet metal and you put a bead into it, that material for that little channel, that little bead has to come from somewhere. And usually it comes from the sides of your piece of sheet metal. That's why when you roll a ton of beads, the sides tend to really pull up and exaggerate the effect. But every time you roll a bead, the same thing is bound to happen to you. The solution previously and still is, is the English wheel, but not everybody has one. A lot of upfront costs and they're tough to work with. That is where the Eastwood stretching dies come in. Cost-effective solution that'll give you the same result as an English wheel, but all the work can be done right here in your bead roller. So we already have these all set up in our bead roller. Let's get set up here and I'll show you guys how these work. So there is a little bit of a trick as to the position you wanna set these up in. You want this flat anvil up on the top to correspond with where you're gonna be putting your male bead die. And you want this radius anvil on the bottom to correspond with where you're gonna be putting your female bead die because these bend in a certain way. That is the orientation that you wanna keep in mind while you're stretching your panel. So now we can grab our panel here and get this situated in between our stretching dies. We're gonna start with the middle one. What I'm gonna do here, firm and a medium pressure. So I'm just gonna snug that up and then count our rotations. There's one, go for two. So that's looking pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stay in the box exactly where our bead is gonna be. Not too tight, but you wanna be right in that area. And also, you wanna count your passes back and forth as you roll these to keep everything consistent. So now we're gonna kick this in reverse. We're gonna go back and we are just going to keep stretching that panel. Now what you need to remember while you're doing this is if you have a deeper bead, it's going to requ require a couple of extra stretches. And if you have something shallow, you're gonna require something a little bit less but a couple is really only all you need, five or six at most. But regardless of how many passes you're gonna be making, how deep your bead is gonna be, you definitely wanna count them so you can stay consistent for any other beads on the panel. So it's three, let's go back with four. So that was four, go back for number five. And like I said, we're just gonna keep it in that box. Wander a little bit off to the side here, but nothing too crazy. So six passes, two cranks in, definitely starting to get some crown in there. Let's take it out see what we are working with. Now as you do this, you don't want anything too crazy, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch max. If you're going for a deeper bead, obviously you wanna give it a little bit of extra in there, but for what we're working with, this is just fine. So we're gonna get those two cranks dialed in on the outside, we're gonna make six passes for each one, and then we can swap over to our bead dies. Got our six passes in, let's move on to the next one. All right, so we got all of our passes in here. Now this is oil canned the other way but when we roll our beads in, everything should pull out nice and straight. So what we're gonna do next, swap our dies over to the bead dies, get some beads in this panel and see what we got.
All right, our panel is stretched. We got our beads nice and snugged up here. So I'm gonna put this in the bead roller and start to crank this down. Now, you guys should already know how deep your beads are gonna be, and you should have stretched the corresponding amount. There is a little bit of feel that goes into that. These are about a medium stretch, so we're gonna do a couple cranks on this and roll some beads in. So that pass was only with about two cranks of pressure on the handle here. Like I said, nothing crazy, but as I roll it, you could see that panel started to level out a little bit here. Now, one thing to note on this is you always wanna go on the lighter side. You could always go back and make another pass and make this deeper if you need to and flatten this out a little bit more by rolling a little bit of a deeper bead in there. However, you can't go back and take passes out. So where we're at right now, Two cranks in on this handle here. We're gonna stick with that and then roll these other two. All right, so we're gonna put that in, make sure we're centered here. And then we're gonna bring this in until we're contacting, which is right about there. And then we're gonna go one and two and make a pass. So our stretched panel coming out of the bead roller, really happy with where this is at, pretty much perfectly flat, easily weldable into a project car. Now, I know something like this is hard for you guys to see on camera. So what I'm gonna do, I have the same exact design on a piece of sheet metal back there. I'm gonna roll that through the bead roller without stretching. We could have a side by side and I'll show you how important the stretching dies really are. Now, you guys can see this really clear. You can see our stretch panel over here, no warp, any direction whatsoever, perfectly flat. Our non-stretch panel over here, if you look at this, totally a pain to work with that, tough to weld into a project car. This stretch panel is definitely what you want. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, if there's any die set that's a must-have for your bead roller, it is the stretching die set, especially if you don't have an English wheel. Well, guys, that is going to do it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MiG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, check out our channel as well. We have tons of great how-to content over there like this that you're definitely going to want to see. As always, thanks for watching. We'll have the stretching dies link below. I'm JD. Keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.